Hey there everybody, Mazarok here, and today we've got some big changes coming to Mythic Plus for Dragonflight. Lots of good stuff here, there's a hefty blue post to kind of go over here, so I want to make sense of some of these things with you guys and just go over this. Before we get started though, please do like, comment, subscribe, we are just barreling towards 4k subs flabbergasted by all the support thank you so much everybody if you want to discuss anything that i've said here there's a discord link down below come on by check that out there's a twitch link down below as well our current sub goal is seeing this big old bearded man in a charmander onesie for a stream if that's something that interests you check it click that link down below and lastly i can't do this without the love and support of my patrons thank you so much if you wish to support me directly there is a link down below all right now let's get into it as well like comment subscribe yeah, algorithm things. Woo! All right. So this hefty blue post, we're going to break this down bit by bit and kind of give my opinions on some things. So the seasonal dungeon rotation, what their goal with what they're doing here is to try and make it feel like every season you kind of have new dungeons to prog and kind of get used to and work around and things like that. So they're going to be giving us eight new Mythic Plus dungeons every season, new with heavy quotation marks here, because half are going to be Dragonflight and half are going to be old returning dungeons, whether it's from uh, Mists of Pandaria, Warlords of Draenor, Legion, BFA even. Uh, there's no BFA in the next upcoming ones, I know, but that is always going to remain a possibility. So, the idea here is that season after season, farming the same loot sucks. Um... This here, I've discussed this at length on some on my channel before, and farming the same piece of loot for two seasons in a row, while sometimes cannot feel great, also doesn't feel terrible. And the con there outweighs uh, the pro outweighs the con. Where going into a dungeon where you have this community knowledge already makes it an entirely easy key. If we look at season four in particular, in the first week. Having a Streets or a Gambit key for anybody returning to Mythic Plus felt really good. <laughs> like, people were chasing those Gambits and the Streets keys because they were easier because of community knowledge. But at the same point, there is a con to be had there where if you are a returning player, you don't have that community knowledge, so starting a new season fresh with eight new dungeons is an easier way for a lot of people to catch up, which for newer players or returning players, I absolutely do understand that, right? I do. But at the same time, you also want to reward veteran players for kind of all the stuff that they've been doing and all the stuff that they've been learning and further increasing the mastery of said dungeons. So there is a balance to be had here. Now, for this upcoming season, I mean, I'm just happy to have Mythic Plus at the end of the day, right? I'm going to go in, I'm going to do my dungeons, whether they're 8 new dungeons, 8 old dungeons, 20 new dungeons, 10 new, 10 old, I don't care. Whatever the dungeon pool is, I'm going to go in and I'm going to have fun, and I'm going to do the best that I can as a tank. So, really, I can understand where they're coming from with this, and I do think that there could be some changes to put forth a better balance, but as a whole, I do think that this system is definitely an upgrade, because especially by Season 3 of Shadowlands, uh, going into DOS again for your blood scale, you know, the, all the casters having to go in and get their ruby from Theater of Pain, that was old and stale and was no longer fun by Season 3. Three seasons in a row of that is really not where the game wants to be. And for this here, I can absolutely understand why they're going in the direction that they're going. I can see both sides of the argument. I can see both sides of the debate. But we have to remember that there is another side of the debate that, you know, Season 2 of Shadowlands felt really good, honestly, for Mythic Plus. It was a lot of fun, you know. It, you know, you got to experience the dungeons in a new light. There was a new meta, new tuning, new legendaries, new things all moving forward. And this was, like, really, really fun, right? It really added a new kind of thing to it but didn't feel overly stale because the community already had a bunch of knowledge going into it, so it actually kind of felt like a little bit of an easier season, but, you know, like I said, there's two sides to the argument, I see both, and I'm just happy to have Mythic Plus. The seasonal affixes. So, with the seasonal affixes, we're getting this new seasonal affix called, I'm not going to be reading the whole thing, by the way, I'm going to be paraphrasing. Uh, I am going to link this uh, link in the description down below if you want to read the whole thing, uh, because it would just kind of be boring here with me going through this is uh <laughs> so yeah the new seasonal is called thundering and they want it to have less impact on the gameplay itself because in shadowlands 
we have had four seasonal affixes that have greatly affected the dungeon itself. Season one, prideful, every 20% count. You get this big prideful uh, buff debuff that you had to kill, which, you know, if you had a pug that just absolutely butt pulled something that wasn't in your route, you could it could have completely screwed the pooch for the entire run. Uh, that was definitely, please stop with the 20%. <laughs> the twenty percent ones that those ones sucks. I uh, I don't like them at all. Season two, you had the tormentors that would give you great, like really good buffs. Seasonal three, encrypted, one of my favorite affixes I've ever seen. I love Ur, like I miss Ur so much. And then season four, shrouded, right? Big stats, a little boring, but big stats, and that's a big power level. So with this, they're trying to just tone it down. What the thundering seems like right now, I, I haven't tested it myself, but I did watch some streams last night. It does seem like, a, if you remember Prideful at all, where there was like the little cardinal uh, directions and send something out and it's stunned. Uh, it's basically that, just with five um, every once in a while. Like really, that's kind of, that seems like it's it. I'm not sure what the buff is on that, but uh, we're going to be going in and testing that out today. But they are looking to make less impactful seasonal affixes. And especially with the current power level that a lot of uh, characters and a lot of classes are gaining right now with the additive talent trees. I mean, I'm okay with that. That makes a lot of sense. Rewarding dedicated Mythic Plus players. Now, this is where the meat is. This is really, really good. So, first off... Starting with Keystone 11, they're increasing the rate in which enemies gain health and damage to each subsequent key from 8 to 10%. So, what's going to be happening there after Keystone level 11, it's going to be getting harder and harder and notice a little bit more noticeably harder. Now, from the math that I've seen, I think it's like a 22 or 23. Uh, a 20 is going to feel like a 22 or 23 currently. So, really not s super escalating. Like, it's not crazy, but it is... You know, it is going to be noticeable, especially when you do hit certain thresholds where, like, you know, sometimes now I'm, like, in an 18, I'm, like, or, you know, I'm in a 20, I'm, like, right, this is a joke, then you hit a 22, 23, and you just feel that bump up, right, and you're, like, okay, I gotta play a little bit better and things like that, and every keystone has their, like, level of, like, okay, holy crap, this is a little bit, feels a little bit bigger than what it is, you know what I mean? Uh, they're adjusting the gear reward, and this is something I'm very excited for, because I like to play all the tanks, but I don't want to raid with all the tanks, so gearing from Mythic Plus is something that I do on probably four out of my six tanks, right? <laughs> so, this here, they're increasing the amount of stuff that you can get from Mythic Plus, or at least the eye level. So, if you run a plus 20 key... You are going to get a drop, or the possibility, if loot will actually drop for you, a 402 item level. And the Great Vault will reward you with 421. Now, what does this mean? 421 in Vault of the Incarnates is going to be the mid-item level boss drops. Because they're reworking the way the raid drops work. The first boss is going to have a set item level. The... Two to four bosses are going to be an item level above it, and then you know five to six an item level above it, and it's gonna it's going to have an escalating uh, item level factor based on which boss in the raid that it is, and that's actually really cool. I actually really like that. Uh, it rewards you for wanting to prog and go further into the into the dungeon into the dungeon into the raid itself, but this is going to be that mid level boss tier, so you're going to be able to get like. Equivalent now, like 308 gear, right? 307, 308 gear, equivalent to Season 4 of Shadowlands. Just from Mythic Plus from doing 20s. Which is really, really good. Okay, this is really good for people that don't like raiding, but want to gear alts and things like that, and love playing Mythic Plus. Now, of course, are you going to have to raid to get that special trinket, unique item, or whatever? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's a raid. This is World of Warcraft. It's based around raiding. But Mythic Plusers have always kind of felt like they were on the outside looking in. This is definitely a way to bring this up. But at the same time, there's always been items for Mythic Plus that are definitely best for raid. So you're going to be able to find a nice balance and really get a item 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 level piece of loot right could you imagine getting that that piece of loot like a three imagine a 308 blood scale you know what i mean if blood scale was currently to in the blah, blah, blah. yeah whatever but imagine getting one of those that would feel great like that would feel really really good 
So there is a lot to be said here. So dedicated Mythic Plusers, rejoice. Rejoice. Um, there is an upgrade level rating requirement for Valor now, but at 2400, you're going to be able to Valor upgrade up to 415, which is uh, around that end of Heroic Raid, if I'm not mistaken. So just with Valor alone. Really, really huge news there. Love seeing it. Um, it, this is going to make Mythic Plus feel even more impactful, especially for the people that really love Mythic Plus like me. This is just absolutely amazing news. Then lastly, we have the shorter Affix season. So what that doesn't mean that season one is only 10 weeks. It just means that the Affix rotation season is going to be shorter because right now it's 12 weeks before the same two affixes can see each other again. So let's say you start off the week with Sanguine Storming, it's going to be at least 12 weeks until you see that affix again. But now they're removing Inspiring, and the reason they're removing, or removing Inspiring had some people puzzled, but actually does make a lot of sense. Inspiring is one of those affixes that's an actual nightmare when you're trying to learn how to do, uh, do dungeons. When you're learning the dungeons for the first time, Inspiring sucks. It's not bad to play around if you know the dungeon and you know what you're doing and you know what you need to CC and pull away or whatever have you not. But in Season 4 of Shadowlands, we had Inspiring fairly quick into the rotation. And man, it just threw... Like, it made Lower into an absolute... Like, it would, like Lower was bad at the start. This made it way worse. So, with the new dungeon rotation and having eight new dungeons every season, they don't want people to go through the whole having to learn the dungeon through Inspiring, because that really sucks. And it makes people have bad habits, as well, of not ki just not kicking things, because there's nothing to kick, because Inspire. So, lots of weird stuff like that. But this is a good removal. But they're also removing Necrotic. Necrotic was intended to be an affix that challenges tanks. Yeah, okay, dude, like... <laughs> They're actually going to iterate on this before I say anything. But it becomes increasingly apparent that routing responsibilities already place tremendous pressure on tanks and Mythic Plus. So we're try we're going to try giving... We're going to... We like trying to try giving... Oh my god, I can't talk to you guys, I'm sorry. So we'd like to try giving this affix a vacation. Okay, if you are a pug tank, you are the de facto leader of the group. You are the one leading the charge. You are deciding routing. You are doing so much already that adding an affix that, you know, especially if you're learning the dungeon, even a little bit or haven't fully mastered it, Necrotic can be an absolute nightmare. Like, an abs- I, like, I, just go into the pug finder in Necrotic Week and try and find a tank. Okay? I mean, this to me, like, I understand an affix that challenges tanks, and that seems like a fun idea, but the problem is, is there aren't enough tanks in Mythic Plus anyway, right? So you need to make it more enticing to put for tanks to want to tank Mythic Plus, and adding Necrotic is definitely the opposite of what you want to achieve. Um, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm happy this is gone. Rejoice. Woo! And with a shorter epic season overall, we're hopeful that we can reduce the perceived disparity in difficulty between weeks and allow players to more regularly feel like they can make meaningful progress toward their increasing Mythic Plus rating. What this means as a paraphrasing is, uh, oh, it's a dead week. There's, It's necrotic. It's dead. So just go, go take a vacation and come back next week. They're trying to avoid that, right? They're trying to make it so like every week is still challenging and offers a new type of challenge but isn't considered a fully dead week now wow players are the ones like you know they're trying to do this whether wow players will allow this to happen i mean it's a community thing right this a dead week is a community problem there's no week that's a truly dead week if you want to it's just harder so it that's a community based problem we'll see how it works out but all of this to say huge changes for mythic plus i am insanely excited for this Dragonflight season of M+, and I cannot wait to get into it. What do you guys think? Are you guys happy with the new loot system? I know I am. Let, let, me, uh, let that down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys. Uh, thank you very much for everything, your support. Like, comment, subscribe. Have yourself a good one, and uh, have a good one. Bye.